What's up guys, this is Dave from Game Breakers bringing you another throwback. Today we are looking at V-Rally, the 1997 Championship Edition for the PlayStation 1, also known as Need for Speed V-Rally in North America. Yes, V-Rally is a spin-off of the Need for Speed series. Um, so yeah, as I said, released in July 1997 for the PlayStation in Europe, September 30th, 97 for North America. Um, it did have a Game Boy uh, Color version, which was released in 1998. Um, this game is um, it's, it's a racing game, a multiplayer. Um, it's a multiplayer racing game. It's got a single player as well, why not? It's a game, it has single player. But it's, um, unlike the other games available at the time, such as um, Colin McRae Rally, uh, V Rally allowed two players to race directly against one another in split screen mode instead of one at a time against the clock. So it got that sense as you were racing each other instead of playing a time trial constantly. Um, the game had. 10 different locations, Indonesia, England, Kenya, France, Spain, New Zealand, Monaco and Sweden, each having different settings and different types of stages depending on the location, but they all sort of matched the location so you wasn't seeing like snowy conditions in Kenya, it was more hot and dry conditions in Kenya, so it was authentic. Graphics weren't brilliant, but it was you know, authentic for its time and quite, you know, it was licensed as well. Speaking of licenses, the game had 11 official World Rally Championship cars um, with, you know, full licenses. You've got Mich Mitsubishi in there, Subarus, Toyotas, Nissans, Skodas, Ford, Citroëns, Reynolds, Peugeots and Seats. Um, so they are all licensed cars they are all real cars modeled i say the real cars all the cars sort of look the same they're based on the same model they have just got different colors logos on them they all do look the same that's the only problem with them but they are licensed cars um this game doesn't really bring up much about itself um for people who want to know, the game was developed by Infograms, published by Infograms and Electronic Arts. Mainly Infograms, though. Um, uh, the game was a bestseller. Interesting fact for you. The game was a bestseller in the UK for three months. So, I believe this game went platinum because of that. I don't know if it actually did or not, but I think it did. Um... Yes, yes, it was. The platinum did. Um, it was released platinum for the PlayStation. It was re-released, and the re-release added support for the DualShock controllers. So the original version didn't have DualShock support. I am playing with a DualShock controller. So, yeah. But any game that didn't have support for it couldn't use the analog stick. So all you had was four directional uh, D-pad controls. That's why you keep seeing me spin out because it's really hard to control just using a d-pad so we are coming to the end of this um, throwback now um, I've been Dave from Game Breakers this has been V Rally there'll be more videos coming out in the future and I'll see you then bye